Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Trailer Talk. My name is John Legend. Trailer Talk is a show where I sit by my trailer at The Voice and I talk to people and we also sing a song. Today's guest is known around the world. He's had some of the most successful songs in the history of music. And he's had a really long, incredible career. He comes from Puerto Rico. Please make some noise for Luis Fonsi. It is so exciting to have you on the show. Thank you. This is nice. Now, you, I was reading up on you, and you've had such a long, successful career. Yeah. 1998 was your first album? 98, yeah, 21 years. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. This is crazy. I like, started young. It's, 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 it's amazing. You look like you're 21 now. Thank you. I love <laughs> you for that, man. So, Botox. So talk about growing up in Puerto Rico and how music started in your life. Yeah, so I grew up in, in Puerto Rico. Um, when I was 11, I moved to Orlando. Okay. So I had a little bit of, you know, the Latino upbringing, um, but I was able to also listen to a lot of songs. And a little Florida. You know, and a little bit of the R&B, <laughs> uh, you know, and a yes. little, little bit of Orlando music. I don't know what that is. Um, so yeah, just kind of- I think Orlando music. music is like O-Town and NSYNC. NSYNC, Backstreet. I think that's, oh, that's, uh, that's like Orlando's <laughs> claim to fame. You know it, you know, but yeah, so I started singing when I was young. Yeah. Um, that was always my thing. I actually went to school, went to Florida State, got a music degree. And are you a Seminoles fan? Like, I are am. you into American football? I am. Okay. Yeah, I have this thing in my elbow, you see? Yes. And only Seminoles would understand. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, yes, I love Okay, it. we got some more tomahawk go, chops in go the go house. The studio audience, by the way, is fantastic. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I went to school, got a music degree, and then started uh, recording. And yeah. Here we are. And here we are. And then what's amazing about your career, you had a su very successful career for a long time, yeah. but a lot of people peak much earlier. Yeah. And then with Despacito, your song yes. was just in the stratosphere, yeah. you were number one for like a record amount of year, uh, weeks in a row. Yeah, like Who's six, counting? Who knows? It was a lot. It, <laughs> it was, was a long time you were on the chart. Great. And then and then it was viewed by like five billion people on YouTube. 6.5. 6.5. But who's counting? But who's counting? <laughs> who's counting? Yeah. But it's, that's incredible, it especially crazy. later in your career after yeah. you've been doing it for a long time. What did it feel like when you were suddenly not just a very successful artist, but yeah. a household name all around the world. Yeah, it's cool because, you know, it's it's a Spanish song. Yeah. I, I wrote this song like I've written all my other songs. Yeah. But it just so happened to sort of cross over in a very natural manner. Obviously, um, the remix with Justin Bieber opened up a lot of doors of for, for yeah. the, the American audience who yeah. normally doesn't listen to songs in, Sp in, in Spanish. So it's kind of like a new beginning, yeah. you know? And, and it was cool to start all over again and kind of be a new artist again. Did you, did you start being not as anonymous when you would go around like America? Like, yeah. like, cause there are places where you would go before that where everybody Absolutely. knew exactly who you were. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then after that, everybody knew who you were okay. everywhere. That's the Despacito dude, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know it, baby. <laughs> Does it bother you when you have one song? Like I have all of me, that's like, that's the song like everybody knows. I've heard and that then, song a few times. And then, and then, you know, other songs, you know, the fans know, but yeah. there are certain songs that Everybody knows. Of course. Does it bother you when they're like, they want to hear that one? They just want to hear. You that. know, it, it does, man. <laughs> you know, it's still, it's it's only been about two and a half years. Yeah. So it's, ask me twenty years from now, and I don't know what my answer will be. But my answer usually is, I'm grateful. Like, I'm yeah, grateful. Absolutely. I have a song that means 100%. so much to so many people. Yeah. And it'll never, I'll never get tired of singing it. It's it's exactly what I say. You know, when we when I'm doing when I, I'm out on tour and that little guitar lick hit, everybody just they get up. From their chair, they you know they put their phone down. So it's it makes me you yeah. know it, it's 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 a nice moment for me to kind of give it my all. So I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. And it know? feels good to make the audience happy. Yeah. For me, it does. Yeah. It feels good to make them happy. And you know when you when you turn that on, no matter what they're feeling, they're gonna be excited to hear it. Yeah. 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 I'm blessed. So who, who are some of your biggest musical influences? Stevie. 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 Me too. Um, you know, I, uh, Brian McKnight. Yeah. You know, me huge too. Fan, you know, huge fan of uh, that sort of R&B with Boys to Men. Yes. That's when I was back in high school. We're around the sing. same age, probably. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Because uh, uh, these are the like people I was listening to yeah, when I was yeah. in high school. I used yeah. to sing in an acapella group. Yeah, me too. When I, <laughs> when are I, are we the same person? Hey, wait a minute. You're, <laughs> you're Juancito. Legend. Juan um, Leyenda. Juan Leyenda. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, I, I would always try to figure out the 
the boys to men arrangement, yes. vocal arrangement, so we can do it with my acapella group. Absolutely. So that's how, I know that's the how feeling. And then obviously all the Spanish music, you know, um, the, Juan Luis Guerra, who's yeah. just an amazing Dominican uh, singer songwriter. Um, you know, the Luis Miguel who has the big voice and uh -huh. the salsa. You know, so I listen to everything. Awesome. Well, yeah. we're gonna do something that's completely not any of those things. Yep. We're gonna do a Bonnie Raitt classic. I can't make you love me. It's, it's a beautiful song. One of the most beautiful songs of all time. It's just yeah. heartbreaking, gorgeous. It's a little sad. It's sad, but it's okay. But it's beautiful, you yes. know. And uh, we're gonna sing it together. This is our first time singing together. I'm excited. Let's do it. All right. I start right. Yeah, I'll start with a little intro. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Luis Ponzi. Thank you. Such an honor. Gracias. 